Hi and welcome to Geek Sparklings. In this video, we would be discussing the solution of this problem. In this problem, we are given two strings A and B, and we need to find the minimum number of steps required to transform A into B. So we are given a string A and a string B, and we need to convert A to B. How to do that? The only allowed operation the only allowed operation for the transformation is selecting a character in A and inserting at the beginning of it. Okay. Suppose we select the character B and then we write it here. So it would become BAD and it is equal to BAD. That is why the number of operation required is minimum is one itself. Okay. So now let us first see in what form can we consider. Suppose we have A, B, C, and D, and we want to make it A, C, B, D, if we want to make this. So how can we do that? We can take this character and move it to the very beginning. Okay. This would make it C, A, B, D. Now we would take this character and we would move it to the very beginning. Then we have A, C, B, and D. Fair enough. This is what we can do. So we can safely say that we can have all kind of arrangements or permutation of the given string by using this string itself. But there are some more constraints to it. The constraints are you cannot delete a character. You cannot add a character. So basically you can just rearrange the characters in any form you want. But you can't delete or neither add. So agar delete or add nahi kar sakte hai, if we can't delete or add a character, then we can say that it is somewhat similar to the anagram. So if the frequency of each alphabet is not same, then it can't be there. Okay, suppose we have A, B, B and we have A, B. So, whatever arrangement we have for A, we can't make it to B because to make it to B, we need to remove this B and removal is not an operation here. The only available option means that we need to only use that particular alphabet. So, if we only have that operation, then we need to do that. So, first what we can do is we can sort both the strings and we can say that they are equal or not. How to do that? I would just show you in code. What we can do is we can sort these two. Like sort a dot begin to a dot end itself. And then we can do the same for b itself. B dot begin to b dot n okay now we would check that for int i is equals to zero i is less than min of a dot size or b dot size itself okay and then i plus plus so if 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 a of i is not equal to b of i then we would return minus one because we know that whatever arrangement we have we can't convert a to b okay this is the first approach but there is more to it why more to it i would say you because suppose suppose we have a b c and d and we have a b c so after sorting these two would be the so this is same this is same this is same this condition never evaluated so we can't do this so what needs to be done is we need to again check that we need to make a check once again that if a dot size is not equal to b dot size itself then we would return minus one because they are different. So in this scenario, this would this test case 
won't pass and we would get the correct out. Why we are taking the minimum? Because, see, suppose we have here A, B, C, D and we have here A, B, C. Then if we come here and we try to access the index of this string, we would be getting out of bounds. So before this condition, this would have saved us. But now we know that the size is same. So we can move forward with any of the sizes. A dot size or B dot size. Okay. Now we can do that. But this approach is taking us n log n. Because sorting takes n log n. So before checking if they can be formed or not for just the case of minus 1, we are taking n log n. But the expected time complexity is big O of n. So we need to do better than this. Okay, because this checking only is taking more than the expected time complexity. So we would try now to optimize this. How we would optimize this? What we would do is we would use the concept of hashing here. Okay, we would use the concept of hashing. Now suppose we have A, A, then we have B, B, and then we have C. Here we only have A, A, B, B. So what we would do is we would count the number of A's. A is 2 times, B is 2 times, and C is 1. And here we would count A is 2 times, B is 2 times. So what we can do is we can build two maps here. One map for B, one map for A, and we can just compare these two. Okay. We can do that also. So let us move forward and do that also. Now, how would we hash this? So to hash the values and this checking of the size is constant itself. So we can move that. So what we would do is int na is equals to a dot size. And mb is equals to b dot size itself. We have both and both are same. So now we would move forward and we need to hash the values. There are two, three available options to us. That is unordered map and unordered map. Ordered map takes n log login operation for each one, retrieval and insertion. But unordered map on average time complexity takes big O of one for average case. But for worst scenario, it is big O of n squared. So what we can say is, as the number of characters is feasible that we have only lowercase and uppercase, that is a to lowercase a to lowercase z and uppercase a to uppercase z. So what we can do is we can take an array or vector of name it as frequency. We would take 256 and we would initialize all the value with 0. Then what we would do is we would hash all the values. Auto e dash a this is by using a for each loop and we would go and hash the values. Okay, this is for F1. And we would do the same thing for the second one. Okay, that is F2. And this is F2. And this would be hashing the values of B itself. Now what we would do is, we would for int i is equals to 0, i is less than 256 and i plus plus. If f1 of i is not equal to f2 of i then we would return minus 1 from this point only okay so if size is not equal that means definitely we would be doing that so why to go with that thing we can optimize it to a little extent okay and then na and nb then we are moving forward and we are hashing the values okay hashing the values one for f1 and one in f2 and then we are just checking that both should be equal. Okay. At any point, if they are not equal, we would dip. So now the time complexity, what is the time complexity? We are taking constant space here. This is big O of 1. This is big O of N. And this is big O of M. M is the size of B and M is the size of. And this is just traversal of 256, which is constant. So we would simply ignore that. So till this point, we are clear. So now. This is the expected time complexity. So yes, we can move forward. Okay. Now we would move forward. So now we have done the case. So now we are done with the case when it is minus 1. So when it is not possible minus 1, we
we have resolved that particular case. Now comes the second part, when it is possible. So when it is possible, how to find out the minimum number of operation? Okay. Now suppose we have A, B, C, D, E and F. Now suppose we want this F to be at this position. So if we want to have the F at this position, what needs to be done? Okay. We would pick up this F and we would keep it here. I would just show you. First, we would remove this F. We would keep it here. Okay. Then we would go Suppose we have A, B, C, D and what we want is we want the C to be at this position. Now to make the C at this position we can only take a character and we can move it to front. Now the number of characters that needs to be done is just one. If we want to take this D at this point, then we need to skip two characters here. Now this is the main crux of this. Explaining the same or translating the same in Hindi is, agar sam jo do character hai aur ek hi operation hai ki yaha se utha ke humko yaha pe rakhna hai, saamne karna hai, agar desired jaga pe rakhna hai, do ko par karna hai, is character ko utha ke isko isko bhi uthana hoga, isko bhi uthana hoga. Phir usko hum rakh sakte hai na. We can do that. So jitne characters beech mein hai, so suppose main one kilometer mein khada hoon aur mujhe three kilometers jana hai. So jo difference hai, wo mujhe safar tay karna hai. The same thing in translating in English is, suppose I am at the third kilometer and I want to go to the first kilometer. The difference traveled is three minus one. The same thing, the same idea would be used here. Suppose I am at the last position and I want to go to the third last position. Difference between them is two. So we need to skip two characters. Okay. This is what needs to be done. So what we can say is, this is where we want the arrangement to be like we want. And this is the minimum possible. So now we know how to arrange the characters in minimum way. But how to know when we want the rearrangement or when we don't need the rearrangement. So let us discuss that also. So let's just take the sample test case. A, B, D and we have B, A, D. So the last character is very equal. So there is no point in considering that character. Why? Because even if we take a character, we need to keep it at the front. So the front character ma matters, but the last character won't affect the solution to any extent. Even if we remove this and even if we try this, then the solution would remain the same. So this is what we would do. We would start from the back. We would keep two pointers here. If the character is matching and we would start from the end, we would simply ignore that character without any decrement incrementation in the answer. Now we would come here and we would come here. After we came here, I would just remove this to remove the confusion. This is a mismatch. So what we would do is we would go and find A. Where is there? So it is here. What is the difference? So yes, we need to skip one character. So I would skip one character and then it would be resolved. So how many difference have I done? One. That is why the answer to this is one. So yes, our algorithm is running fine for the given sample test cases. Now we would implement it and then we would talk about some more optimizations. So now we already have NA and NB. So we would initialize int i is equals to i is equals to NA minus 1 and j is equals to NB minus 1. Because it is 0 index, so the indexing would be from 0 to N minus 1. So we are now at the last index of both the strings. Okay. Now what we would do is to not have the index out of bound, we would have both i is greater than or equal to 0 and and j is also greater than or equal to z because we would compare i and j. Now the first part where it is a mismatch, we would keep moving forward till we are getting a mismatch. So what we would do is y i is greater than equal to zero. Why we are only checking for i? Because what we would do is we would try to find that particular this character. 
but we are trying to find this a in that that this a in b in a so the indexing in a is moving forward but j is at its same position till we find the match so here only i matters to us so i is greater than or equal to 0 and a of i is not equal to b of j so what we would do is we would keep decrementing the value so now if we are at this position then that means that there is a match so we would simply ignore that i minus minus and j minus minus now when we are skipping characters that means we are encountering a cost so we would just do c plus plus this would store the count of modifications we need to do and we would initialize c is equals to zero okay at the end as we have done we would return return c itself okay so we are first checking the size itself then we are moving forward and we are hashing the values of a and then we are hashing the values of b itself then we are returning if at any point they are not equal then we are going to the last value while this would be greater and i minus minus and j minus minus because we would skip both the characters okay and then we would return the c itself okay this is getting a correct output of the sample test case And yes, we got an AC. Now we would do the dry run. But before doing the dry run, what we are doing here is we are hashing the values in two arrays, okay, F1 and F2. But we are just trying to match the character. So if, let us see, suppose here we can see that A is equals to 2 and B is equals to 2. If both are same, then what we can do is we can subtract the value of b then it would be 0 if both is not same where a is 3 and b is 2 then there would be some values remaining that is 3 minus 2 that is 1 if a is 2 and b is 3 then 2 minus 3 is equals to minus 1 so if the value all the values are 0 that means it is correct if at any point it is not equal to 0 then it means it is not correct so what we would do is we would come here, we would remove the value and we would subtract the value in here. Okay. And where F1 is not equal to, not equal to 0 itself. When F1 is not equal to 0, we would return minus. And this would work seamlessly. Now let us compile and run again. Let us submit this again. This should be hashed to F1. And yes, let us now again check. Yes, it is given correct output in sample test case. And yes, we got an AC. Okay. Now, the same idea of hashing the values and then subtracting the value from the second string is used uh, in the anagram. So basically, in this problem, we have the application of anagram with some more added modification to it. So that's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day.